According to the notice issued Tuesday, farmers will be compensated for land, improvements, movable and immovable assets acquired by the state during the land redistribution program, which began in 2000. The proposal marks a radical shift. President Robert Mugabe's government had previously insisted white farmers would not be paid for the land, which it said was illegally grabbed from the indigenous blacks during the colonial era. Zimbabwe has been trying to restore relations with international financial institutions such as the IMF and World Bank and the timing of this latest proposal could very well be to give an extra push to that charm offensive. Zimbabwe owes a combined $10 billion to domestic and international creditors. That's the same amount it's proposing to put into a lands compensation fund which will settle claims from dispossessed farmers. It plans to raise the funds from international donors and locally from farm rentals levied on new occupants. But some lawmakers say they should be close scrutiny over how the fund is managed. We have known the history of certain funds. There's another funds to do with the roads, uh, funds to do with um, uh, the water levy, funds to do with the AIDS levy. Uh, certain funds, national funds, have been set uh, uh, up in the past, but those funds have been raided, the coffers have been raided, the coffers have been looted. Earlier this year, government said it would start issuing offer letters to white farmers still running farms deemed to be of strategic national importance. A union representing the estimated 300 white farmers still farming here warned that contestations over the land had to be resolved first. We have to tidy up the, the compensation of the past. Um, once again, it's going to cause more conflict if I go onto somebody else's land and he has not been compensated. But yes, I wish them well and I, and I hope sincerely that government is sincere this time and that we can come around the table and find a solution going forward. Prior to the land reform program, Zimbabwe had about 4,000 commercial white farmers. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.